morning snow. Well, that is, uh, that's what we were left with. Wow. Jeez, this is way more than I thought. That's a good six and a half. Check a few other spots. It was, uh, man, it was nasty last night. Just blowing like, yeah, it's another six. Blowing like 20 mile an hour winds. Uh, that road out front was came to a stop right around 3 p.m. And a uh, guy spun off in a ditch. It was all sorts of chaos, but uh, luckily I decided to wait <laughs> till the next morning as I don't mind mowing in the uh, at nighttime with the lights on. It's just it's a little harder. It's not as fun. And when when it's 10 degrees and blowing wind, uh, I'll take a hard pass. But I got all my gear on today. I got my face thing, my goggles. I got the heated jacket running. I got my little light on there. I got a lot of layers, so I'm warm. I'm gonna get this beast fired up. Get our nice clean tractor out there and start plowing.
It is cold out. Whew. Uh, I stayed warm. I got enough layers and stuff on, but uh, yeah, it's immediately turning to ice out there. I sort of, as I cleared it, the sun would hit it and um, make it wet, but it, it just immediately turned to ice. It can't be much more than 20 out. That went well, though. Uh, first one for the season. I had to kind of relearn how to use the old plow, and the uh, ground was still a little soft, apparently. I, I did pick up... Remember that one time I said I rarely get the tractor muddy in the winter? Well, I did this time, uh, but no big deal. The rubber edge on the bottom seems to be holding up. I don't think I'm uh, picking up too much asphalt. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that's it for me. I gotta get uh, get some other things done here, but uh, we're good to go here. See you in the next one. Excuse me, I'm trying to say hello to the deer. They're eating all of our pumpkins, little baby. They've eaten almost every single one. Oh. Hello. Uh, it's a nice Sunday here. Well, relative to Michigan, it's a little breezy, but about 45. So I thought I would do a little chainsawing. Gonna get the echo fired up and uh, really just working to clean up some of the mess I've made. Um, just sectioning some of this up, getting it so it's at least a manageable size, and, and just trimming up everything I can reach. Um, so I'm behind the house right now, and this is part of our view so slowly I'm just trying to open this up so we can see the pond and uh, just have a nice healthy forest so I'm just gonna start cutting and we'll see how far we get
Okay, well, it probably looks like I've made a bigger mess, which I probably have. Um, pretty much this hill, I've, I've been dumping some of these logs here. Some of these are from around the yard. I'll just take the tractor and dump them down here. Um, you know, I have to do something with that someday, but for now, I think it's good just to, I'm getting everything so that I can at least like walk over it. Um, a lot of this is just gonna stay back here and rot down. I'm not gonna burn a lot of this and honestly you can't see it from the house and uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm having a good time here. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep working away. It's kinda hard for me to get the camera set up. Uh, but actually I'll, I'll go down there and I'll get it set up looking up the hill. Might be able to see more of what I'm doing here. Alright, so I walked down here. We were just up there. The house is there. I'm pretty much at the halfway point on this hill. And uh, you can see here that this is pretty much where I've been dragging a lot of the stuff I've cut on the edges of the pond. Just up into here to break down. Um, whew, so yeah, I think... Let's see here. I've done kind of this section. There's probably a little bit more to do here. Um, but I think I'm going to get into this part here. Again, I, I don't know how, how dramatic this shows up on uh, camera, but I'm making progress. I got all the way kind of through here and then I ran out of gas. Uh, and changed off. But uh, yeah, this is, this is going pretty well. I uh, got at least a lot of stuff on the ground here and this can always be a project for another day of picking up sticks and logs and, um, you know, if I decide to to have a fire of any sort, I'll at least have plenty of kindling. Alright, I topped off the tank. I'm going to try to get this cleaned up right here. And it's dark out. Okay, got the uh, machine all cleaned up there. Usually I just hose it off, uh, I'll take the blade assembly apart, hose it all off, get all the gunk and oil out of there, and then I take the leaf blower to it, and then I run it just to make sure it's all good. Uh, that was a lot of work, <laughs> um, but I got, I got a lot done. I, I ran out of light, as you can see. It's now nighttime, dark out, darkness, since it's... Uh, Something like 5.30, but... Uh, oh, here's a new toy. Um, I got a shop heater. Um, 
one of these Dynaglow says it's good for 2,000 square feet, so I've been messing around with that. I'll get in more on that in another video. Um, but I think that's all for tonight. Um, I kind of feel like my videos <laughs> sort of suck lately because uh, I just don't have a ton of time to put a lot of effort in them. I'm usually at the last minute when I'm on my way out, you know, I know I have two hours of, uh, of time to do something, so uh, I'll try to grab the camera and, and just keep up with it. But uh, you know how it goes. It's all good. We'll see how this week goes. Uh, it's Thanksgiving this week, so I don't know. I might have a little bit more time if the uh, weather's good to do a little more chainsawing. But I like working back there. Uh, this is like the perfect weather when there's not a lot of snow. I can comfortably wear, uh, you know, all my chainsaw gear. So I can really get in there and, uh, and chop stuff up. I was running a new, um, a new chain on my chainsaw. Uh, I got a three pack of these, just pretty cheap, uh, well, inexpensive, a, a T TBD and whether they're cheap or not. Um, but you know, it's, it's kind of a, it's a love hate relationship with this echo, uh, little CS 310 chainsaw. Um, you can find the chains for pretty, pretty inexpensive. They're, you know, between ten and twelve dollars, and uh, you know, so it almost it. Here's my old one. It almost doesn't justify like taking it to be sharpened or buying a ninety dollar tool sharpener uh, when they're that inexpensive. But of course, the caveat is then, um, you know, do you want to change them and throw them away? Do you want to sharpen them? So I, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but for now. Uh, I was running a, a new chain on there, and it worked really well at first, and then towards the end I could I could definitely feel it um, running out of juice, although it, it does feel really sharp right now, so I don't know. I think when it gets clogged up and it's not pushing through as much uh, bar oil, uh, it just doesn't cut as well, so... Anyway, uh, I like that chainsaw. I've given, I've thrown at it a lot more than, than it can take, really. Um, okay, enough rambling. Uh, thanks for joining me. See you on the next one. Just thought I'd come out here the next day show a little bit of the after even though I know it's uh, pretty hard to see you know it's it's a big forest so when I say I chop things up it's hard to tell uh, just what happened it's all gonna be a lot of subtle differences I think as I just trim things up and get rid of skinny uh, lower value trees um, and a lot of this I'm just sectioning up into like four foot lengths uh, four, to, four to five feet just so if I ever do want to move it, it's easy to move or kick down the hill and throw into a burn pile or do whatever with. But uh, yeah, plenty of work here, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna be making my way that way. Uh, just trimming up trees and making the forest a little nicer.